you know, writers are, you ask us to read, we're going to read. <laughs> the one moment where we're not shy or self-conscious, right? Um, so I have to run afterwards, so I want to pay that respect to all the other writers that will read. Uh, it is Father's Day, and I'm on parole from my house, uh, according to my partner. So the warden says come home, so I got to go home and get my dinner. Um, so I guess uh, I was just trying to think of which one to do. You know, slam poems, 119 words here, right? It's like 1,019 words, right? Very, very wordy. But I figured I'd share this one with you guys before I get out of here. And this is, uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing the room. I know we have a couple of generations in the room here. Uh, this one's for my generation. I'm 31. So if you're between 25 and 35, uh, this butt's for you. And uh, everybody else who talks about us all the time because they say we never do anything right. So here you go. <laughs> my generation is turning the big 3-0. But we don't say the T word, yo. We grew up to not be monsters, though we still get treated like toddlers. And though not much was expected out of us, we've surprised ourselves. We've got no 60s remedies, no 70s memories that we can unremember because the drugs were that good back when the sex was that safe. <laughs> we're 80s babies. Born out of a fear of anything that brings happiness. From backpack gangster rap to the AIDS plague. Born after a generation that legalized it for commercial drug slangers. Wrapped our wrists with rulers English. Even spell checked our Bible papers. Stole our recreation and called it escapism. We're criminal but they're innocent. Turned youthful indiscretion into these mandatory sentences. That same generation with that age old story about not having any capable offspring to take over the family business. Said we have no experiences, but left us no shoes to fill in. Because they've been barefooted in hippie kitchens since back when they was pregnant with us. And though they would stop piled us an inexhaustible amount of outdated references, I gotta say, if they would have just made the world perfect like they said they would, they wouldn't be fed up with us for not filling a position that they left open with the 40-year-old job description. But it's not about them. Or what kind of mess was left for us. Or even what's expected of us. It's what we've accomplished. We're the generation that turned Saving the World Inc. into nonprofits. The folk music of our generation was first played with Texas instruments. The kids who used to spend eight hours a day solitary confinement with their Sega Genesis turned into adults who can't put a solid eight hours of workday productivity together without sneaking a peek at their social networking. But at least we got friends in different countries, yo. We got, we got cadets and barracks playing FIFA 09 with cats in Iraq all night long. We're the generation that got past homogenous. We got postmodern. White parents raised on Save the Last Dance want to put their kids in hip-hop class. And a wave of second generation suburban black parents send their youth to spend summer schooling with relatives still inner city learning how to read the streets. So we don't forget the ABCs of poverty. We're the generation that went from just having gay friends to queer relatives and same-sex partners. We've domesticated men and turned women into ballers. And though we respect their sacrifice before they admonish us, they ought to remember that we're the generation that helped elect President Barack Obama. We got hip hoppers rocking mohawks, battling punk rock over who's got the skinniest jeans. Big and rich, even country done going corporate. Spinning rims replaced pairs of horses, because of course you can't put butterfly doors on them things. But with all our faults, we're changing. Learning from our youth instead of just saying what they ain't. Because if there's one thing we did learn from the boomers, it's how to make babies. <laughs> Despite the common boogeyman in growing up that sexual activity leads to arthritis and rabies. They taught, us, <laughs> they taught us about peace and love life, and we ran away with it. Too old to be delinquent. Too three O to abscond. Bags packed with pride, indignation, and a healthy critique of everything except ourselves. My generation of opinionated mumblers and articulate apathy are very vocal about what we don't care for, but extremely active for what we do. And sometimes we're not being chastised for speaking up nor implored to shut up. We've got our own battles to pass and fight and freak flags to wave. Much to do and a mouthful more to say for ourselves. And many more years to do it at only 3-0. But there's one thing we won't do. Is we won't say the T word, yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs>